Following up on the last video, this time we're going to be looking at mirroring in those container images for OKD. So we're going to look at um, a release of OKD that is only a development branch. It's only going to exist in the upstream Quay registry for 72 hours. So if we want to run that in our cluster, we need to mirror that to our own registry to avoid a situation where we don't have the, the release we're running upstream, we don't have any container images available to run our cluster. And that can be a problem if you have an unexpected reboot and the nodes try and then pull those containers, they're not going to exist anymore. So it's really important to make sure that you mirror any releases that you're using that aren't the stable releases. So to start off with, we're just going to take a look at the documentation again. So the very first thing is we need to make sure that we have the OC command installed on our cluster. So to start with, Let's move this to the side. Okay, so the first thing there is telling us we need to make sure we have the OC command installed. So install the OpenShift CLI client. So we do which OC? We can see we do have that installed. That's great. So we can skip past that. If you don't have it installed, then obviously the first thing you need to do is go and install that client. If you're running on Windows or Mac OS, there's the options there. So the next thing is we need to have credentials that allow the images to be mirrored. Okay, so this first step is about creating a pull secret that we can use to log into your cluster. So I've gone and changed the password now for my init user in Quay. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the command that recommends here. So echo n and then the username is init and the password is this password. That's just a little bit easier to type than the auto-generated one that it gave us last time. Then we want to pipe that to base64 wo. Okay, so that gives us this output so we will copy that and now we want to put it into a JSON file that we'll use to authenticate so we will call this one test reg pull secret dot JSON so in this file we put in the registry that we're going to be authenticating against which is this one and then the string that we just got from that previous output and I don't think email address matters so we're just going to leave it as that for this for this test so we're going to try and log in. So we need to log in using Podman login auth file and then TLS verify files. Okay, so we can see there that we have managed to log in using that auth file. Now, just a quick note when I recorded that. Um, I didn't have the 8443 at the end, so make sure you put the port at the end there, otherwise it will not work. So if I remove that, I'll just show you the error I was getting. So if we try to log in again now using that file. We can see that it now prompts for a username, so that's not what we want. We need to make sure we have the port at the end in our registry name there. And then also make sure when you run the login command that you add that again. So this should match exactly what's in that file, and if it does, you should be able to log in just fine. We have to use TLS verify false because I allowed Mirror Registry to generate its own TLS certificate rather than providing a valid TLS certificate. If you have a valid TLS certificate, this obviously won't apply to you. So now we know that works. We know that we can confidently provide that file to the next step that we're going to run that will mirror in those containers. So if we look at this section, it says mirror the OKD image repository to your registry to use during cluster installation or upgrade. Now I've used this process to upgrade my cluster multiple times. So basically I started with a non-mirror registry, non-disconnected environment. I was just using the upstream Quay service. I deployed mirror registry and synced in the same version that I was actually running in the cluster. And then I've used that to then sync in the next version and upgrade to it from there. So this is the, the next step where we need to choose the version that we're going to be syncing in. So from the OKD downloads page, determine the version that you want. Now, I think I've showed this before, but this is actually quite handy, so I'll show it again. Origin release. So if you go to amd64.origin.releases.ci, we can see the release versions that exist for OKD. Now, these are the four stables, so if we wanted to sync in 4.11 for example, then we would come to this page and this gives us a whole bunch of versions So if I wanted to upgrade my existing cluster to 4.11 now I could do that by syncing in one of these whether or not that would work is, is entirely untested But it's something I could do you can see down the side here that it shows a bunch of upgrades for example 
So this will tell you which versions it's tried to upgrade from and to. If we go back to stable, which makes it a little bit easier to read, so for stable, and we click on this one for example, we can see that upgrades from 4.10.0.0 have failed twice and succeeded once. So upgrading to this version from your stable version might be a risk. I generally tend to come here and check to see how those upgrades have gone in CI and understand what I'm getting myself into if I choose to do that in my cluster. But this is a really good place to start when you are trying to choose which version you're going to run next. So I think for the purposes of this example, let's just do a 4.11 version. So this is the version string here. And what I've done is I've created a bash script here called registry clone. Now in here, what I'm doing is I'm taking these steps, these exports that it wants us to make here, OCP release for example, and I'm putting them into my script so that I can do this repeatedly and I don't need to worry about exporting all of these variables each time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another function here called OKD example. And we're going to copy everything we have down here. And paste it in here. Okay, so now let's grab our version again. And let's start filling this out. So the OCP release version that we want to sync in is going to be 4.11. And we don't want to use this pull secret anymore. We want to use the one that we just created. So this one here. The pull secret currently in there is the one for my, my actual registry, not this test one that we created. Now, local repository. So what do we want that to look like when it actually ends up on our server? So we go to registry.okd4.bne-shift.net. Remembering the port. So this is my actual registry and we can see that I sync into origin OKD. So this is where all of my releases actually exist. So we're going to keep the same in our test environment. Our product repo is OpenShift and our release name is OKD. Now if you were doing this with actual OpenShift then your product repo would be OpenShift release dev and your release name would be OCP-release. And our registry in this case is no longer going to be this one. It's going to be registry-test.okd4.bne-shift.net and the port will remain the same. So back to our documentation. We've now gone through each of these exports here and we want to then run this OCP release mirror command. So you can see that I've just included that within my function over here in this, this script we're editing. We need to close off our curly parentheses as well. There we go. So then we run OCP ADM release mirror dash A. We give it the pull secret. That comes from our pull secret that we've just provided above. Then our registry that we're pulling from. So we're going to pull from Quay.io, the OpenShift repo, the OKD release and the OCP release. And we're going to push it to our local registry in that same place. And we need to make sure that we include insecure true because we're not using valid TLS certificates. So at this point, I think we go ahead and we give this a run. So we can see I've included the dollars at sign down here. So this means I can run this script and the first argument I pass it, it will replace there, which means I will run it with OKD example and it will run this function. That's all that does. So we do bash registry clone and we give it OKD example. We can see that this is now going to execute that function from that bash script. Manifest is unknown. Okay, so maybe that doesn't exist then. Let's try, we'll try another um, 4.10 version. Try this one. This is what I mean by those images don't stay around for very long. So you've got to make sure that it actually exists. And we can check that by just visiting that URL in our browser. So that...
Okay, so we know that this one exists because I can see it here, so let's just do this one. This is a little less volatile when you do it with actual OpenShift because the images stay around for a bit longer, but with, with OKD, it's, it's very developmental. So you've only got the stable branch, which stays there for a long time, but these, these dev releases that come up after that are kind of just for CI, and then they go away once they've been verified. Okay, we can see that starting there now. So it's going to mirror 170 images to our registry. So this is going to take a long time with my internet. So what I might do is just, I'll just pause the recording and I'll come back when that's actually finished or if it fails, we'll explore the errors that come up during that. Just moving my head out of the right way so you can see that there it started uploading those images now. So um, we're uploading 170 manifests to my registry now and you can see it uploading each of those images using that SHA-256 sum. Again I'll just pause, we'll come back once it's actually doing something else. Okay, so we're back now, that has worked and we can see here that we've got a successful uh, mirroring, it's mirrored all of our images over to Quay. We can see that it's given us an image content sources there that we um, can use if we're deploying a new cluster and we can see here that it has given us a, a YAML file that we can use to update the image content source policy in our existing clusters. Now, if you have an existing cluster, that part down the bottom is the step you need. You need to, so you need to take that, put it into a file called, we'll just call it icsp.yaml, paste that in, and then, and then just OC create on that one, or OC update dash F on icsp.yaml, and that will update it in your cluster. If you're doing a brand new deployment, then you need to include this section in your install config.yaml file, and that will make sure that the cluster is deployed and pulls images from that for the get from the get-go. And I can do a deployment and show how that works, but it, it's really just add that to your install config yaml, run the deployment, and it will work. For my cluster at home, if I export my kube config file and just log in. And we do our OC gets on the image content source policy and we output that to YAML. We can see here that this one points to my production registry or the registry that we're not using in this video. So it points to registry, okd4, bne shift.net. So, so if we check my own cluster to see what that looks like, and we do an OC get image content source policy dash o YAML, and you know what, we'll just pipe it to VI so we can scroll through it and read it. We can see that I have updated this cluster and that section for me points to registry.okd4.bne-home.shift.net. So that is my production registry, if you like, not the one we're working on here today. And then as we go further down in this file, we can see that the registry digest mirrors, they all point to my registry. So this is even for the OLM, the operators from the marketplace that are installed. So once you've done that, your cluster is fine to proceed, do upgrades, do anything you need to do using your content source instead of pointing to the upstream Quay. Once you've changed that, if you've uploaded the current version that your cluster is running plus the version you want to upgrade to, you'll then see it as an upgrade option when you do OC ADM um, upgrade. So that's all I've got today, just showing how to sync in those container images to your own version of Mirror Registry or Quay hosted locally on your network. And as I said, this is a great option even if you just want a container registry at home to push your own private containers to. Maybe you want to use it for Triple O containers or Red Hat OpenStack platform containers. They're all valid options that you can now use this for because you have the infrastructure. So that's all I wanted to go over, just showing how to, how to do that and save some of that bandwidth at home when you don't want to be downloading everything every time you run a deployment. If you would like to see something like me doing a deployment using this new um, image registry, I'm happy to do that. Maybe if you would like to see forcing an upgrade to one of the development releases of OKD, I'm also happy to do that. I can deploy a new cluster. We can walk through what that looks like. Just let me know. Anything you want to see, drop it in the comments below and I'm happy to answer any questions.